Okay, this is uh, obviously Torchlight 2. This is a, uh, a role-playing game and it got released for Linux today. Well, uh, earlier this morning. Um, I'll see if I just turn the audio down a bit. There we go. So it's been a very exciting, uh, exciting day for Linux gamers. And this is just one of the, uh, one of the uh, amazing, amazing things that happened. Touchlight Two. Well, I suppose we knew it was coming. But uh, Valve have announced a whole host of uh, games coming to Linux this year. And uh, I, I suspect oh, there's a sale to go with that. There we go. Let's go for that one. I suspect after I finish recording this video, I will go and uh, spend some money in Steam sales. I don't know. They do look different, don't they? So I'm just selecting the character at the minute. Let's go for blue hair. And obviously the character will be called me. So you get a character of one of these four classes. You also get to pick a pet. Let's have a cat. Why not? Ooh. Let's have one that matches my hair. There we go. Desi, why not? And yes, let's go casual. So there is a uh, co-op options. I don't know whether it's co-op head to head, but I'm fairly sure it's co-op. I'm just going to do single player for now. The uh, interface, I played it for about half an hour earlier. The interface is, um, I guess you'd describe it as tablet friendly. Deep beneath torchlight. A darkness gathered. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out. So this is the backstory. I'm assuming this refers to uh, events of Torchland 1. I'm not entirely sure. Um... A nice sort of cartoon, cartoon movie. Great evil arises. Plucky heroes. Plucky heroes attempt to defeat it. Here's another plucky hero right now. So, first thing you should know, the game looks nothing like any of this. This is purely for uh, plot purposes. Plucky Hero 2 distracts him just long enough for Plucky Hero 1 to smack him with the magic, whatever it was. And a moment of camaraderie. Oops. Oops. Didn't smack him as hard as we thought we did. She's out of it. He's out of it. This man's going on a rampage. And heroes may fall. Hope may fade. But new heroes will rise. And guess what your job is? Yes, that's right. So, some guards here. This man here 
mission and to do I some I think stuff. this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Well, accept the quest. And me and my cat will head on out of the camp. State your business. Infested with rat bins, apparently. So you just click. It's the interface, you just click. You say shoot at that thing. There we go. Now there is your cat will melee things. Now there is left and right click. Oh, that was effective, wasn't it? So your right click will do a magical attack depending on this. Uh, blue orb, and the red thing is your regular health. You pick things up by running over them, I guess. Turn up that bank for guard. State your business. Ooh. What if I like color? Alright, let's have one of them. We're looking at our inventory, I don't know if we can equip it. Oh, I've already equipped it, excellent. So with that we'll carry on. Let's have our two gold. Let's shoot him. Up. You have gained experience. Well, let's just kill some things. And open the chest. Lots of treasure. Lots of gold. Socketable item. Okay. So I can make my matlock steal. I don't know how that works. Anyway, right, skills, let's level up. So, uh, I'll level up my rapid fire. That's my skills. I also get a level thing. So, let's just um, broadly level up everything. There we go. The skill points and levels. That works out quite well. Fill up the barrels. Don't there's anything down here. No. Bad guy there, though. Shoot him. Attack thing and just chains together stuff.
So yeah, it's pointing, it's pointing and clicking. It's not, it's Lighting not like me. you're uh, using a controller. But it's quite fun all the same. So the enclave, I think, is like the hub. That's the, that's the uh, town that appears on the opening graphic there. I'm far from worked out all the details of the game yet. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. We're this too late. alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the enclave. As it was, many Estelians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Commander Vale believed that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. You have a so there you go. Quest. Accept quests. Have we met? We can reset our skills. There's also an armor around here somewhere. Where was it? Oh, there, there, there's the armor. Although I think I'm too low level for that to really matter at this point. Let's just uh, level everything up again. What does that give me? Mm, let's do that then. So, uh, another quest here. Can get here? You can accept multiple quests. You have received like any quest. regular RPG. So now I'm, I'm embarking on my second, uh, second quest. The enemies are going to get a little tougher, I think. Ah. And fact, they're going to hide. How do I get to him then? Maybe I have to go around. Let's go around this way and have a look. You see, that's probably a mistake, me running in there to him. Um, running in and melleeing people. Let's talk to this bloke. Ah. We have to find the tranquil sensor. Ah, now I can get to this bloke. So your cat basically automatically attacks. Um, you can switch them, switch them to be defensive or aggressive. this. Alright, it's lots of money.
So in general, it's much like other ooh, health potion, much like other role-playing games. Chest hidden there. You explore, you fight things. I guess I go this way. I can't go that way. Can't shoot him. I'm not sure if anything appears in the rocks, but maybe it does. Get my combos going. Pick up all the stuff. Tranquil sensor. So I'm guessing now, if we go back to the dude, we get some reward. Where was the dude hiding? By a gravestone somewhere, wasn't he? There he is. How may I help? Excellent. What shall I have? Have one of those. I've gained fame. So it's quite a fun game, I think. I've not really figured out if there's a, any deeper strategy to it than uh, pointing and clicking at things. Offering us a side quest. Mm. Which obviously I'm going to accept. Quest. So this is uh, this is an additional dungeon. Now, as I was playing earlier, I actually died in this dungeon on the way down. Just seem like just seem like the dungeons are slightly slightly different each time you play them. They're not. They are. Uh, so how would he get to that? You see, interesting. So I'm guessing this, there's a portion of random random generation, which makes it a bit different every time. Level. 
everything is dead. Who was the lever? That was a trap. That was a trap, unfortunately. Let's level up again. Skills. Oh, I missed that gold earlier, never mind. Oh, that's how you get that. That's how you get to that chest. Identify pistol. All right, so this is this is one of the features. Um, reminds me a bit of bar cell actually. Because I know it's a pistol. You don't know what sort of pistol it is, so you have to uh, identify it in some way. And when I talk about Barstow, I'm talking about the 1980s game. Where you would uh, sometimes discover weapons and things as you were trundling around. And it would just say, weapon. And the cost of discovering what it was was approximately half, was always half the cost of, um, of what just buying the weapon would be. But anyway, I've got two scrolls, so I can identify it. But it automatically identified at level 5, so I could just level up. Shall we do that? So anyway, I think you've uh, probably seen enough now. This was a... Uh, this was big news today. This game getting ported to Linux, along with many other Linux games. Many of them games, Saints Row. Saints Row. Um, oh, I'm too busy. Yeah, Saints Row, um, the new Batman game, and. Uh, Shadow of Mordor were some of the big games announced for Linux. Um, this is possibly the best week ever for Linux gaming, and it's only Wednesday. So, uh, excited to see what the rest of the week will win. I will, I will be off now to uh, spend some money on this exciting new stuff.